you can't, you're not gonna be the straddle of the fence of trying to be an entertainer and then be in the street or you're gonna go to jail. Right. Or you're gonna die. How do you feel about the music, Fort Worth music scene now? Man, listen, I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, man, uh, Ronnie, Lil Ronnie. Yo, we'll get money, Lil Ronnie. Listen. Best gambler in Texas. The best, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. That's my baby. He, have, have you seen him gamble? Is he, is he really as good as he claimed? I'm, I'm sure he is. <laughs> I'm sure he is. If he, t if he tell you a duck, pull the truck, hook it up. But, but let me just tell you, let me just give you a, a, a brief synopsis of how these guys are. Man, listen, you know I'm a dinosaur when it comes down to the internet shit. You know, of course, my team, Drew and all of them, they, they know what time it is. Man, this man made, he personally pull up, you know, hey, uh, this what it is, this, that, and the third. You know, I had talked to him from prison anyway, you know. I mean, pull up, put me on game. Yeah, we're gonna get your we gonna get your money from this and you're gonna get your back pay from this. I'm talking about running me down through there to where you know, I mean just hip, you know, really hipping me on and them guys got good music, man. So, you know, I salute them. I'm not one of them guys that be like, man, I don't like no, nah, them niggas is jamming, you know. Now the the only thing that I would, <clears throat> you know, I guess because I'm a little more seasoned, is the foolishness. You know, you, I realize you can't straddle the fence. You can't you can't be a you ain't gonna be to be no street man. This is not for Ronnie, of course. You know he, he got his mind on the prize. You can't. You're not gonna be the straddle of the fence of trying to be an entertainer and then be in the street, or you are gonna go to jail, right? Or you are gonna die. So I, I wanted your personal opinion on like there was a time right where I feel like DFW was crazy, right? You had Yayo, Spud, Boom, Stop Six, Low Key. They kind of kicked off like the resurgence of Fort Worth in our eyes, right? Like that's, you know, Half Pint Films was recording them and we seen them and they were just making moves. Then you had Mo3, Yellow Beezy, Trap, uh, Big T. You had all these people jumping at the same time in DFW. Did you catch wind of any of that? Or did you see it? Like, what was your thoughts when it was happening? Um, I, I saw it a little bit as much as you could because I've been all to California and and um, toward the East Coast, South Carolina, and shit like that. It's all over the place when they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through. I was, I was, I was. I done been everywhere, but um, I saw a lot of it, you know, and, and it made me proud. You know, I mean, I wish Mo was still here. Man, he was so talented. You know, I would have loved to work with him. Talk to him one time from prison, baby, and shout out to baby. That's my baby. He had hooked me with him, man, and we supposed to do a song, and it didn't happen. He ended up, you know, getting killed. Right. Oh, wait, so you had, you, you Twisted Black and Mo3 had a song? Yeah, we were, supposed to, we, we were supposed to do a song, but yeah, yeah. What was that, what was that gonna sound like? I'm gonna tell you like this, I'm gonna tell you the kind of the conversation went between him and I. I told him straight, I said, man, I'm about to murk you on this track. Oh. <laughs> you know what he told me? OG things done change. <laughs> so, so, so we were gonna be spar, you know. We were gonna spar. Yeah, he was, but he was super talented, man. You know, I, you know, I hate he left so soon. Do you think if you were out, you could have stopped a lot of those beasts in Fort Worth? I mean, you know, if they would have listened, you know, one thing I know about, about you know, first of all, let's keep it about. I'm not gonna be getting in no nigga business. You know what I'm saying? I would have loved to have been some type of me I, mediator, you know, but if I didn't go to prison, then I wouldn't have been trying to stop Day Beef, to be honest with you. It took prison to get me to this type of mind frame to where, you know, I, when it comes down to smoke, I don't want it. You know, I throw my palms up, you know, I ain't gonna really let you get in my personal space and do, do me nothing, but I will try to take a diplomatic role, you know, hey, we can coexist, we don't have to like each other, you know, you don't even have to respect me. You know, just just don't touch me. Then we, you know, we straight, you know. I, but I don't want no smoke with nobody. I would, it, now, if you know, once I, I'm back on and, it, and I, the movement that I want to do, I hope that, you know, like even when Yeo get home, I hope that, you know, cause he's so talented. I hope that there's a way to defuse all of that shit and that those people that you name from Dallas and those people that you name from Fort Worth, we come together. And man, we're gonna, we gonna blow, you know what I mean? But if we kill each other, then we just gonna go back to jail or yeah. die.
Three stars. Know what time it is.